Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a very hectic couple of days but I'm excited to do a figure haul as well as um, just a small birthday haul of things that I've acquired because um, it was recently my birthday and I received some very very nice gifts. Uh, but the first thing mainly that I wanted to do was open up this package which oh, I left a sticker up here with my address on it. So during the last haul, which I believe was the Hatsune Miku figure that I received from Tokyo Otaku Mode, <clears throat> I mentioned that I ordered two other figures, both of which I had assumed were on the way. Um, so they were on the way, but what I've realized since that review is that Tokyo Otaku Mode will actually not give you a tracking number until the figure is in your country. So if you're outside of Japan and it's coming from the Japan warehouse, they won't give you a tracking number until it's made its way to your local post office service. So the package was on the way to me. It was on the either airplane or ship. It took at least a month, I think, to give them for them to give me a tracking number when they when they gave me an email saying that it was on its way. So I'm assuming it was a boat. So once the boat made it to port and my package was scanned by the United States Postal Service, I received a tracking number on when it might arrive, which was honestly fairly fast. Um, once it hit the port and it was scanned in to be delivered, it took maybe a couple of days to get to me, which is really nice. So this is the package. It's fairly big because there are two figures in here. There are both pop pop-up parade figures. I've never bought any of those. I didn't think they were worth it just because they were so small, but I wanted to use up some of the points that I've acquired from having accidentally purchased an extra month of the subscription service for Tokyo Tokamud. So I figured let's just do it. Let's go ahead and just buy these two figures because I was interested in them um, and they were at a discount with the points. So one pleasant surprise that I uh, realized when I opened the box was this. So they sent me, I'm not sure if this is included as an advertisement or because I bought one or the other figure because one of them is related to Hatsune Miku sort of. Um, but it has, it's nowhere near related to this particular, uh, drawing, which does have its own figurine. There's the figurine on the back. So this is a medium sized clear file. It has my receipt on the inside and I was pleasantly surprised by this because I do like clear files. So I'm definitely going to use this and add it to my clear file collection. It's a very nice picture as well. Probably going to use this side. And then I mentioned in my last review as well, this is how a Tokyo Otaku Mood packages all their items. It's very similar to Amiyami. Lots of paper. And here are the two figures wrapped in bubble wrap. And to address the elephant in the room, you may have noticed this tank on the side. That is for my future jellyfish. Um, and I will talk about that later in the video. So just ignore it for now because it is in the way and there's nothing I can do about that right now. <laughs> and here are the two figures that I bought. So I have the Papa Parade Black Rock Shooter figure and the Papa Parade Suikinto from Rose and Maiden. Very old character. I did watch the series when I was younger and she was always my favorite design. I liked her character as well. And I used to actually have an android of her, but I sold her off many years ago. And honestly, looking at them now, they're not as small as I thought they would be. They're about the same size as my 1 8 scale Kuroko's basketball figure, which is kind of funny and might make some people mad because that is a full scale figure. It's 1 8 scale, but it's fairly small considering what you would have paid originally for it. Um, versus these, which are a discounted figure line. So the, both of these were around $30, I want to say, $25 to $30. Again, I got them at a discount, and that price does not include shipping. So let's take a look at one of them. Here is Black Rock Shooter. And to be honest, I am very excited to get her because I have been wanting this figure for years. But one, she was rare very popular figure so she sells out fairly quick and even when she wasn't rare she was pricey and at the time I just wasn't willing and I don't think that she's sold anymore she's out of print so this is really the only way to get something close to the original figure which had a really nice base I've heard these figures have a very simple base which I will remedy because I've recently acquired the tools to 
uh, drill holes into bases so that I can just make my own custom bases. So next, here's Suiginto. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It's been a while since I've seen this series. You know, I've seen reviews for this series of figures, and honestly, the boxes are a lot bigger than I was expecting. I, I thought they were going to be like maybe one, one third less of the size than it is now. The bottom of their boxes look a little complicated, so I may just go ahead and open her from the top, even though I much prefer opening it from the bottom. Let's get a good look at her. Wow, she's beautiful. Look at that. For being um, of a discount line, I love the detail in her wings. Her dress looks really well done. There, She does look a little flat, I, I will say, but if you've never seen Rosa Maiden, she's a doll anyway, so I wouldn't expect her dress to have a lot of detail if you were trying to get a realistic figure of her. Wow, I love the ruffles in her dress. Sorry about my chickens. I feel like I have to say that every time I do a video. Unless I'm filming at night when they're all asleep, you'll hear them every all along. I mean, all throughout the day. Wow, she's beautiful. So I will be making two videos to review all of these, but here's just a quick look. Um, oh, wow, they have the joints in her feet. That's cool. And then this part is connected to her foot. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I'd prefer... I guess that's just to make sure they could wrap the base like this, but why not just make a separate piece? I don't know. I would prefer it wasn't attached to her foot like that, but it is a discount line. I can't complain too much. And then here is her base in purple. So I only wanted to open one of them up just to see the quality and make sure they came in um, right because this box was sitting out while it was still 105 degrees outside. We've been having like a solid week of that type of temperature, so I just wanted to make sure they didn't warp or melt. Um, especially since the box is completely plastic. That would have been unfortunate, but it looks like the paper did its job and shielded the figure from the heat. So yay! I will open Black Rock Shooter up in her own video, and I will make a full review of this one as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. So I'm not as upset with Tokyo Otaku Mood um, as I was now that I understand their system a little bit more. I still wouldn't recommend them really. They are a legit side. They're just facing a lot of quality control issues right now, at least for me. But overall, I'm happy with their service with this package. Now, the next thing I'm going to show are a few things that I received as birthday gifts um, from both my boyfriend as well as another friend. And one of them I can't show you because it's from my best friend. She bought me some, well, she bought me two things, uh, one of which was shoes, which I'm wearing, so I'm not going to show those. They're just slippers, really comfortable. Um, first thing is, this was for myself. I went to go see this in theaters with some friends and they, this movie was amazing. So I had to buy it. So this was technically my birthday gift to myself, or one of them. I did get the 4K because I was, I don't know why I was under the impression that, um, Blu-ray was 60 frames per second. It's not, it's 30. So kind of standard. Uh, 4K is the 60 frames per second. Your TV does have to be 4K in order to play at max uh, resolution, but I got the 4K because of that. Next, um, this is from my friend. He, he got me a couple things actually, one of which is not in here. Like a, a lot of random things from my Amazon wish list that I have not updated in a long time, um, but he got them anyway. Uh, one of the things though was fairly recent. This is a Noctua NFA9 um, fan. So I recently bought a Noctua CPU pan for my computer. It's amazing. But this particular cooler allows for two fans. It comes with one and then it gives you a extra little bracket hook thing to add another one. So he, bought, he got me another one and I've already installed it. I've made sure the, the exhaust and the intake on each fan is aligned the correct way to make sure maximum airflow is going through the PC to cool down everything. And it's amazing. 10 out of 10. These fans are great. It also came with extra little anti-vibration pads. It comes in all these colors. You get four each because you need one in the front and the back. Um, so I thought that was a really good deal. The fan itself came with a lot of accessories as well as thermal paste. So that was really nice. Next, he got me this Aqua custom switches in rose red. I when I was first getting my mechanical keyboard 
these were ones that I had considered getting when I first got it, um, but I was too afraid to switch out switches just yet, so I never ended up getting them. So he got them for me, and I'm really excited to try them out. I'll add a little clip of me after I've installed them on my keyboard to see what they sound like, but I think these in particular are supposed to be on the quieter side. Oh yeah, they're super quiet. And they feel really smooth. This is basically what it looked like um, swapping them out. So I have a few Q-tips here with alcohol so that I can clean in between each switch. But basically, my keyboard came with the tools, um, but if you are new to this, you will need to buy them. So this removes the keycap, just like that. Very easy. And this tool is to remove the actual switch. So it's actually quite difficult, at least for me. I may have to see if there's a different uh, version of this tool because this one's a little difficult to use. But basically, this tool has these little hooks at the end. Um, hopefully I can show you if this camera focuses. You see those hooks on the right? So you push those under the center of the switch. And then you press and then basically try to pull it out. It's not completely difficult, but it has been straining my fingers. And, you know, when I pull one out, it flies across the room. Um, so um, I'm probably only going to do this side first, but I can kind of, I already swapped the, this bottom set except for the N and M. Um, so you can kind of hear what the difference is. Okay, it's quieter now, so I can show y'all. The difference. So this bottom row, at least all the way to B, I swapped. These are the originals. So the new ones are definitely, I, I suppose, creamier is the best way I can describe it. Whereas the other ones feel more tactile, like I can feel when it's pressing down. Whereas this one is a lot smoother. And the originals feel a lot more clickety clacky. I like both, but I definitely really like the new ones. So really thankful that he got me those. You can get these on Amazon again, um, or on Alco's website, which I'm pretty sure they have. I remember looking at it when I was looking to buy my mechanical keyboard. Next, he also got me, really grateful for this one because I'm just so unwilling to pay the exorbitant prices of any Puella Maggi stuff. Um, this is the trilogy, the movie trilogy. I mainly wanted this for the last movie, which was available on its own for a while, but for like $100. And I just wasn't willing. So now I have all three, which is really nice. Anaplex will inflate the price of the series so much. And they are Blu-ray, which is really cool. And it's English and the original Japanese. So I'm really happy to own this. I'm going to open it now because I'm really curious what it's inside. With such a high price, I would hope they they have a very unique sleeve for the discs. Oh, that's so cute! Look at Homura, she's my favorite. I like Sayaka too, actually. That's cute. I'm trying to make sure there's no... I don't think this comes with a digital copy, but you never know. I always open these on camera and then have to clip out the digital code. Oh, that's cool. So this is just information on the discs. I'm assuming because it doesn't it doesn't have that information on the cover. And here are the discs. Oh, oh that's nice. I like that they clip on the side here, so that's really nice. And then the inside appears to just be solid black, so only the back of the pamphlet on the cover has an image on it. So pretty standard. I'm at least glad that they released it. And Puella Maggi's getting a fourth movie, I recently learned, so that's exciting. This is the 10th anniversary Blu-ray box set. Next, I got me The Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm a big fan of this movie. I grew up with it, love it. And for some reason, I thought I owned it already, but I think that was in DVD. I never got the Blu-ray. And um, Disney does that thing where 
after a while or for a few years it just won't release certain movies it, it'll be in the disney vault so i don't think this movie was out and that's why it was so expensive so here's the inside so this is the collector's edition hence the very holographic oh and very thick cover sleeve and holographic <laughs> i'm not really into hollow had i known that i probably wouldn't have put that on my wish list but it's fine it's not like it matters but yeah, that's pretty much it with this one. Very standard. I'm not sure why it's a collector's edition. There's really nothing else in there. Maybe it's just the holographic cover, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. I'm not really into those gimmicky type of things. It does look cool on the lights though. I do like that. Find your magic code, movie rewards. Is that really all that... Yeah, I don't. There's really nothing on here to me that would make it very special. As to make it a collector's edition, I don't get that. But I really do appreciate having it anyway because that's one of my favorite movies. And then my boyfriend got me some manga. So the first one he got me is Mama Akuma, which is where this uh, girl, fourth grader, summons the demon, and the demon obviously is used to things like helping somebody conquer or destroy their enemies. All she wants is a mother, so he has to raise her as part of her wish, which I thought was really cute. So I'm excited to read that. Then The Wolf Never Sleeps. I actually don't remember what the synopsis is for this. I think I mainly put this on my wish list because I really liked the art. <laughs> which flipping through this looks really good. Um, but I like gritty stories. It's rated teen, for, so it's not that gritty, but excited to read that as well. Here, I'll show y'all. Oh my gosh, this art looks so cute. I'm excited to read that. And then Play It Cool Guys, which reminded me a lot of the Daily Lives of High School Boys, which I loved. So another kind of just slice of life cl classic comedy manga it seems like oh it's in color <gasps> what so is this based on a webcomic it's in color y'all i did not know that that's really cool i'm excited to read this now <laughs> so those are the three manga that my boyfriend got me very thankful excited to read them i will try my best to take a better shot of everything um but it, i just can't fit it all right now in on this table uh but this is more or less everything that i received or bought myself for my birthday with and the figures are on the side they're included as well but now the final thing um and one thing i don't believe is included is a curtain wrap that my friend also got me um that has arrows on the side and it's really nice but i've already put it up so i can't show it to y'all <laughs> so the final gift is this jellyfish tank i cannot tell y'all how excited I am and very grateful I am for my friends for working together to purchase this for me. It's something I've been eyeing for many, many years. It's from a company called Jellyfish Art, and there's various manufacturers of jellyfish aquariums on online, but Jellyfish Art is one that has, I think, the most customer support. It also has a lot of plans, um, various different tanks, various different packages for jellyfish and various kits that you can buy. So if you want to kind of just get all the supplies in one go, if you've never had an, an aquarium before, especially salt water, salt water is much more difficult to take care of than fresh water, in my opinion. I had actually been considering getting a salt water aquarium. I was going to put it here on my filming space, which means I would have had to just film wherever I could in the future. Um, but I never got around to it because I was still doing research, kind of figuring out what I wanted, what kind of size tank I could get and then my birthday rolled around and my friends revealed they had bought me this and I was so excited. So this is quite the small tank. It's only two gallons but it, it is primarily intended for jellyfish obviously jellyfishart.com. <laughs> so they got me the kit for this tank which included the tank as well as a multitude of different supplies including packs of salt for creating the salt water monitoring tools um, such as the pH balance tester, water tester, nitrate testing. I have this thing on my desk right now, growing little shrimp um, so that I can feed them later. Brushes, um, a turkey baster for pulling out food and things like that to clean it, the pump, the LED light, just everything that you would need to take care of the jellyfish in this tank was in this kit and it was very thorough the only downside i think is they really need to work on that instruction manual because it doesn't really do everything 
or explain how to set everything up by steps. So right now this tank is cycling, which just means that it needs to set the environment that jellyfish need to thrive in. That includes temperature, the salinity of the water, and the levels of nitrate and ammonia in there. So right now I put some jellyfish starter, which was included in the kit. All it is is bacteria that you put into the water. Um, and it kind of starts that cycle. I still have to wait for the shrimp to be born. Right now they're just eggs sitting in water, but by tomorrow or the next day, there'll be little brine shrimp that I can pour into this tank. They'll start eating the food and bacteria and it'll start the, the to actually cycle the process. And I'll have to do this for a few weeks before I can order the jellyfish. I'll have to make sure and test the water to make sure all the levels are correct for the jellyfish. But once I do that, I um, they provide a code so that I can choose my three jellyfish and order them. And I'll have to acclimate them, obviously. It's been a while since I've owned an aquarium. Definitely never owned a saltwater one, but I've done enough research to more or less know the process. Um, but yes, I'm so excited. I'm just super grateful. This is such a cool tank. So you may just, if I still film a few things in between uh, setting this up, you'll probably see this in the background with the jellyfish floating, just because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. This is the most solid piece of furniture I have in my room, so it makes sense to just have it on here. It's by the window, it's not close enough to the front door, so uh, the vibrations of it closing won't mess with it. For the most part, you may start seeing this in backgrounds of my videos. So there is my short anime slash birthday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did change the color of the tank. I don't know if you can tell. Looks a little bluer on camera, but in person I changed it to purple. It's really cool. You can change the spectrum of colors fairly well with this. Really cool tank. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still excited about it. Um, but anyway, I will leave links to some of these products because um, um, my boyfriend did get me most of the manga from Right Stuff from what I'm assuming as well as Bola Magi was bought on there. But if y'all have any questions, about the other products, I would definitely check the description. I will leave links to where you can buy them in the description. And again, I will do separate reviews of each figurine. That way I can get a little more detail into the video. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next one.